All right, guys. Uh, the wall has been completed around this uh, perimeter. So, as I said, too thick. Um, as I said, our pollution cloud roughly correlates with this because mostly because the the biter nests are actually a huge source of um, pollution dissipation. So, kind of the way it works. By the way, I, I always do this. I try and do this cleanup stuff without you seeing, but I mean, I, I can show you sometimes how this works. I basically like just mark things for uh, removal, and that's it. So I'm hoping that this coal is gonna be done soon. Eh, it doesn't look like it. Anytime soon. Oh well. So it's worked beautifully so far. Um, so steam is um, steam is good. Coal is good. Just because I red belted it, uh, very nice. Um, Light oil is at 18k, uh, which means it's going down, but uh, I'll continue to monitor the situation because the problem is all of our flamethrower turrets now run off of uh, light oil. So, um, it being kind of, yeah, I know some, th some things are damaged, and that will still be re uh, fixed in due time. That's good. Our power capacity, though, is now constantly hovering around 50 megawatts, and it bounces up, obviously. Uh, it basically can afford to have, I think, one or two sides of turrets firing at once. Oh, by the way, I've taken a liberty and also started the research for laser turret damage. I did already did three, and now I did four. Uh, what, there's another one I did somewhere. Um, so I, I've already, I already have nuclear on the way. Um, oh yeah, so I have electric furnaces now, and I've, I also have uh, substations. So we'll see what those are in a little bit later. Uh, because it's just like there was a whole lot of wall building and not a lot of anything else. So, I, I mean, I might as well research stuff. So, I can definitely guarantee you that we're going to need uh, to get another iron line going here. Uh, but that, I'm going to save that for electric furnaces. Uh, because it's just gears are limiting and some other stuff too. But we're just removing this line because reasons. I, I, I don't really see a reason not to do this. So, now there's actually no way anymore outside the base. Um... There, there's no way to go outside the base anymore. Um, so that's that. Uh, so let's let's get some things going. So what we're going to do is I'm going to first Google up... Uh, or sorry, Bing or fucking DuckDuckGo. Uh, you look up nuclear ratios for Factorio. I, I'm not, I know it's not on the screen right now, but um, I, it's just impossible to fucking know this stuff. So what we're going to need... There's going to need 48 heat, heat exchangers, two reactors, and a bunch of other stuff. So we're starting on the nuclear stuff. Oh, I almost knocked something down. Um, so this needs a shit ton of copper plates. Uh, and also, we have a, a ginormous amount of things here. But we're going to actually just uh, put some... Because nuclear is such a huge undertaking, but also at the same time such a huge upgrade. By the way, I almost ran out of walls and turrets and things like that. It's ridiculous. It was very close, let me tell you. I have light oil barrels, sulfuric acid barrels, fluid wagons. Uh, let's just put this up for a sec. Uh, just anything I don't really need, I'm gonna put away for now in the car, because we need this stuff. Okay, we don't need those. Uh, the bricks can go. Okay, we have concrete with us. All right, uh, these things can go as well. Okay. So for this, for the nuclear reactors, it needs a great deal of steel plates, a great deal of copper plates, yeah. So why do you think I was just about to take a bunch of copper plates out of there? Yeah, and we luckily also have a chest full of uh, this stuff. Whoops, open up the console. Actually, what's evolution at right now? Uh, 0.82, it's gonna get bad at 0.95, I think is the bad one. Uh, that's gonna be the real test, and that's kind of why I made things the way they are right now, so yeah. We'll have a look. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna start with two reactors, and eventually knock it up to four. Uh, because we, our power capacity right now is, I think, about 117 megawatts. And this is, this is, by the way, this is without, not including, not including the fact that the, the boilers can't actually make, they, they cannot make 107, uh, 117 megawatts. I'm just saying... With all these steam engines, it makes 117. Uh, but it's because we have the we have this system, which we're going to copy. We're going to do the exact same thing. Actually, we need only 16 heat exchangers. Actually, it's not that bad. Uh, sorry, I'm my bad. I was looking at the, the the next level. So the reason why we need so much garbage um, 
is because, um, the, and also why I had to look up the ratios. By the way, I have no fucking idea how this works half the time. Just know that. Um, if I ever see a nuclear reactor, I promise you guys I will, I will give it to the nearest uh, authority figure or something. I don't know. Uh, why do I do this? Um, so I, I, I do not touch nuclear reactors, obviously. So, you know, obviously. But yes, we need, um, we need a, a crap ton of copper. Uh, because re apparently you can ma hand make reactors, um, so don't try this at home, kids. We're also gonna need a, gr a, a huge amount of re uh, these things. By the way, the only reason I'm making this now, I know we don't even have anything going. Uh, it's because I obviously uh, we need the factory to be making everything at full capacity. So uh, I'm just gonna put this down right here a little bit, so we get a bit more. Because we need steel to get going. We need like. We need so much stuff. All right, why? We still do not have enough steel plates to make another nuclear reactor. Okay, that's the second one. This is why we're only doing one. Now, it says here I need 16 heat exchangers. So that's mostly copper. Uh, very fortunate for me. So I'm just gonna make this thing. So how many ones am I making? I have two right now. Um, need more steel again. I think I can just take a bunch of steel plates out of this. Because they're they they kind of get held up inside this stuff. All right, uh, I have four right now. What nine more is a thirteen? Because as I said, it's gonna just require a whole lot of stuff. All right, that's uh, I think enough now. Uh, yep. Yeah, so that's what I say. Sixteen. Yeah, sixteen is good. And then uh, this also runs up off, up off uh, twenty-eight steam turbines. Um, Good fucking luck with that. So that's also 50 iron gear wheels and some other stuff. And we're also going to need heat pipes. So the whole idea of this is it's just a huge resource hog to create in the first place. But it, it is literally the ultimate in terms of uh, power. It is so good. Um, because uh, it's, first off, it doesn't make as much pollution. Second off, uh, it, like, it just, it's better overall. It's just good. All right. Take my word for it. It's amazing. All right, so we're just gonna go down here. I actually might go make a uh, inserter somewhere that's just gonna grab gears so that I can just take off this line or maybe just have this right here because I already did this. All right. Oh, we apparently need pipes too, so we gotta take that into town. All right, so we got si the 16 heat exchangers. Now we need, as I said, 28 steam turbines and that's not including, the 28 is what the entire network runs off of. Um, it will actually require more than that. So it needs a crap ton of pipes, so we'll just get the pipes going. So we can make nine right now, and look, it's already making some more uh, uh, <laughs> of this stuff. So, like I said, I, I, I'm just going to kind of do this and then let it kind of back up again. Um, but for some reason, I don't see any... Yeah, that's why. It's because everything requires gears all of a sudden. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Uh, because I'm a baller. Alright, we're gonna get this. We're gonna have this guy. He's gonna fill up a box. And it, this is just, it's just gonna eat off the light. I don't care. Alright, we're, we're gonna ignore it. It's fine. Uh, Alright, let's work on the next thing. And the next thing is actually getting... Uh, oh, we're gonna need centrifuges too. Which also requires concrete. And iron gear wheels for each one. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll just be back for that. It's fine. There's gonna be a chest filling up with the iron gears. Just sucking it away from the rest of the factory. Probably should have taken this into account a little bit sooner, but that's fine. So let's go get a... Uh, how many miners do we have? We have six. Believe it or not, that may not be enough. And we just need a lot of iron plates and stuff. So let's get that let's get that going first. Is there like any I can take from... By the way, I've been, I've, I've been attempting to take uh, iron gears from certain places. And I'm pretty convinced, by the way, that... Um, sorry, I've been taking... Um, the, the miners, whenever they're done, uh, like, I mean, some of these are done, but, like, for the most part, like, they're, I, I don't have many more that I can possibly grab, so, you know, that's kind of how it goes. Uh, well, 20 is a good number. Uh, I'm gonna take some more gears, though, just in case. Oh, yeah, we need to make, uh, another stop, so it's gonna require a couple of stack inserters and iron boxes and other bullshit. I'm gonna make sure I have just have an abundance of materials with me. So when I get there, I don't start uh, 
hating myself for not bringing certain things over. All right, I think I'm good now. All right, so uh, let's go just get a couple more miners and then we're gonna go the other way. So the other thing I was gonna say is I'm pretty sure efficiency modules will not do shit for this run. Um, Cause like I said, uh, the, the whole reason why all of a sudden the pollution cloud is stopping at the corners is cause it's hitting biter nests. That's the only reason, but I will still try it. Um, I'll see, but I, I don't think they're going to do anything and I'm fucking dumb cause I should have not gone through here. I'm just going to go down to start. So I'm kind of sad with myself more than you would ever know. All right. So this is also done. This is where I'm getting some of the light oil from. Probably wasn't the best way of bringing it. Uh, let me remove that because this is like it's just at this point you get you get it like it's we're polluted as fuck. Like this is this is just the the death world scenario that I've chosen. It's just they're they're never gonna stop attacking. They hate us and our freedom. And I just ran into light oil. Thing here so yeah so as I said I you'll get a bit more taste of the combat I've just been like clearing things out because it's like it's not always interesting to watch some it kind of did get interesting but I wasn't recording it and that was it so all right so this guy will finish the rest of those how many miners do I have now 33 that's a good number all right now we do what we need to so let's go hop down to where we're supposed to be oh shit uh, can I actually drive through this uh, no. Fuck. Yeah, let's just pull, pull her around. Alright. So, we're trying to work with bigger trains now, and we're going to upgrade most of the stations to something larger. Um, but, uh, for the most part, we now have the resources we need in every area, and it looks like this, stu this shit's, like, backed up anyway, so it's all good. Um... Now we're gonna head over here. So we need to go to our loop that we had earlier. We need to make it kind of go down. This is step one. All right, there we go. So which side is which is the question I ask. Uh, where's my, okay, so this is the, this is the way that it needs to kind of go, whatever. So luckily, because of the fact that I've worked this out in such a way where, um, like, it, it now doesn't really matter uh, where they are because everything is now basically like a, a free area. Like, it's everything is good now. We don't have to really care anymore about this. Um, about defending them, we, we will like we're like as I said, that's her that's her strategy for now on. It's to basically have it so that. They're all they're all within walls in the same turret line, and we're also gonna, as soon as we go nuclear, we're actually gonna upgrade the wall to two lines of laser turrets. Uh, just one, just, just that, that's all we're gonna do. Um, like, sorry, not two lines, but like like two, uh, like a, a full row basically of laser turrets because it's necessary. Right, get the fuck out of here. All right. So that's good. Uh, so now we're gonna just say, just make sure that they can come into here. Because like I said, we want the... Uh, and honestly, you know what I should do, actually? Just to prevent deadlocks. Everything that is a going into uh, this place needs chain signals, because we don't want them to ever stop. I know you're wondering why. So basically, if let's say that it wants to go into one of these and it's and it's not okay, uh, you, you always use a chain signal so it doesn't get stuck in the loop. Remember, the chain signal is a pre-signal. It's meant to prevent them from kind of getting all weirdly stuck in a place that they shouldn't be. So that's kind of how that works. All right. So now we get this guy over here. Uh, okay, so this is going to be a green stop called nuke one all right so this is your train is going to say nuke to nuke one uh oh well i always add the or time passed remember the the or time passed just keeps the trains flowing 
um, and make sure that like if there's some kind of weird issue, then it doesn't it doesn't have an issue, it doesn't stay forever uh, until time, more time passed under twenty seconds. All right, so he's on his way. Um, so let's get the miners going here. So you can see that these miners are kind of different. Um, they have a bit of a, they have pipes to them because you're supposed to put sulfuric acid into them. Uh, let's just walk across the track so we maybe get run over, but unfortunately our problems are not going to end now. All right, so this is going to empty sulfuric acid barrel, oh, sorry, not fill. Empty sulfuric acid. Uh, one second. How do I tell the train to stop? Okay, there we go. Train will not go anywhere because we kind of need him to stay here now. All right. Uh, I need to bring power. Luckily, I have power over here. So now, like, power is actually now kind of readily available. Unfortunately, it does mean that if there's any kind of issue ever where, like, the power stops, then that's a problem for us. But that's okay because I this is a this is experimentation. As these look like retarded trains to me. Like, I, I'm actually not joking. I, I <laughs> kind of sad. Oh, is this where it is? Oh, that's where it is. And that's the barrel. Okay. Oopsies. Okay. So let's change this up. I, I kind of had forgotten where I put them. So we'll do that. All right. So where is this thing? It's the same as before. Just going to have like, you grab it and then you put it in there. This is going to be empty. Uh, empty sulfuric acid barrel. So you can actually look at these these um, miners, and they actually have a sulfuric acid count. Now, by the way, it works exactly the same as before. Um, where like, you, you know, remember the system I had where I was kind of like, oh, when it needs like kind of like how the flamethrower turrets worked. Um, I use the exact same principle here, which is the as as long as it needs it, it'll keep grabbing it itself. And there you go. So now these have sulfuric acid in them. And now we continue his route. Or actually, no. So, it's filled up these guys, so we don't have to really care too much about that. Bring this over here. Fortunately, it looks like we're gonna be running out of... By the way, there only ever needs to be one train on this stuff because it just, we don't need any more than that. Seriously, dude? Ugh. Very sad day for us, but yeah. Uh, all right, so the way it's gonna work is, although it unloads in incredibly, it's gonna unload very quickly from these stations, it's not gonna load up that fast from here. And it's just kind of on purpose, more more because it's a templating for this, because we want these stations to unload very fast, but I don't really care about the rest of the stations. So we're gonna do this. This is how I traditionally actually do my, uh, ch my, uh, Things like this. So while while you saw me doing this kind of system uh, before, uh, this is kind of how I normally do it. So we're gonna kind of have a system like this. Oh, whoops! Sorry, I fucked this up. Actually, we need a couple more of these. So I actually don't really care about it loading loading fast. I care about unloading fast, more or less. And it may seem kind of weird to you, but. It's because we're going to only have a couple stations anyways. I'm going to have like three stations, but potentially much more ore mines going. Because the problem is, in this kind of a case, like, this is the largest patch that we've gotten for iron ore, but it's still like, you know, you can see that on the very end there, it barely loads up, you know. And I, I'm going to I'm gonna probably put this down to just one at some point. Um, it's kind of just the way this is going to go. All right, so let's do something like this. Because these are very large trains. But yeah, so he's basically doing his rounds and he's basically adding sulfuric acid to these miners that I've just created. So that's nice for us. And this may not be the best way of doing it. And as I said, I've been kind of wrong before. So it's okay if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm not sure how much this is going to be saturated, though. I'm going to say, let's say we're going to eventually get a red belt's worth here. I know they're not powered right now. Okay, that's good enough. Let's bring more over. 
I'm hoping that'll be enough now, because as I said, they've changed the fluid dynamics so much. I mean, there's a little bit in every single one, but it basically requires one unit of sulfuric acid for every single... Area. As I said, I could bring more over. I haven't decided quite yet how to really handle this. Actually, we need red belts for this. So luckily we have now red belts readily on hand whenever we need them. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to add bunch of belts and whatever you plug in there will just work so it'll work now but luckily because I do it like this it's fine and I guess I still have some of these shit ass like poles so we're just gonna use those so we don't have any more all right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just make sure that this stuff gets all the resources it needs in terms of sulfuric acid and stuff. But as you can see, these are not even going to mine until they get their sulfuric acid they need. Now, I'm not sure if this is enough sulfuric acid because uh, it's going to bring over what's like 10 times 50, so 500 units. So if it doesn't bring 500 units, then that's a problem. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that these have much higher capacity, so I think we're going to actually have to upgrade this a little bit. I think we're going to need more sulfur gas than this. Alright. Go to your other station, because this is worthless. I think I left enough barrels in the chest that was beside it. Yeah, there's 38. So, it will just do its thing. Actually, while we're at it... I have sulf I have one sulfuric acid barrel in here that I can unload. Because it's, it's now annoying me. <laughs> Ta-da! All right, so that's pretty. So this is our uranium ore. Um, we're gonna need more of it, though. Is there like some miners somewhere I can just remove? No, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna have to go make more of them. I was hoping I would could be lazy, but I really can't be lazy, can I? We just need more miners all the time. Fucking life. Let's go get. Let's go get a bunch. So that's our nice little stop here. Actually, speaking of nice little stop, also this guy's wounded. But we'll uh, we'll help him out at some point. I mean, this is this has been the action that's been going on. It's been ridiculous. Like the train started getting hurt a little bit because they're they're a subject to some attacks, you know. It's just how it goes, and that's why I decided upon the fact that we're not going to run upon that system. So, although it's really far away, as I said, because we use large trains now, uh, distance isn't as much of an issue. You just add more trains to the network. That's all we do. All right. So, what's he doing here? Nothing. Okay, what's going on here? Alright, so he's got he's got more barrels now, so that's nice. So as I said, he has to have enough uh, sulfuric acid to basically keep replenishing the outposts that he goes to. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Okay, this is a lot of years. I would say that I overdid it, but I really didn't. That's just kind of what, what's needed, and I should always have a chest like that, always at the ready. Just make sure I grab some more in case we need it. And we're Gucci. Also, by the way, I have a bit of a solution for how to handle um, uh, the lack of compression with regards to um, some of the furnaces, but uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Because uh, we're going to make a new furnace uh, layouts. So, alright. So let's just make sure we wrap up what we were doing here, because that's important. I don't know where I even sit for time, to be honest. So, he's going to basically fill his cargo kind of slowly. Uh, and we acknowledge that. It's very simple what to do here. Alright. Give this some uranium ore and some of these things. So, he's just going to fill up slowly it's fine who cares um why are these not filling though because uh, it doesn't have anything over here yeah as i said he needs to get more um just get more sulfuric acid because he fills everything up but this is like this is like the nerf this is post nerfs for fluids like 
It's just what happened to the game. So you used to be able to store more, and now you can't. So also this this is literally the worst shit for me to see actually, because I because like it's green on green, so I can I can't actually can't tell the range of my miners. So uh, we lost the fucking game. All right. Actually, what would have been smarter for me to do, instead of doing that bullshit up there, is actually to do some things like this. Although, it doesn't really make a difference, because it eventually has to go to the other side anyways, but... I don't know, whatever. Maybe we could do something, like, retarded. And kind of go to the other side, like... This. Ah! There you go. Actually, it still looks like crap, but whatever. Alright. So we've done this. Uh, send it off like that. And it gets combined onto a single belt. So, by the way, uh, nuclear is now our lifeblood. The problem with going nuclear rather than solar. So nuclear is great as a power source because it's like, you know, just fine and dandy. Uh, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a quality quality thing to do. What the hell? Oh god. Um, fuck out of there. I didn't even realize that you did this. Alright, we're gonna have to fix that. But luckily this is now pretty much fixed, I think. Yeah, I think they're all connected now. I mean, I won't really be able to tell until later, but yeah, let's just, uh, peace out. Alright, let's go fix the issues over there and then, um, get more nuclear going. I'm gonna go repair this guy, actually. Because I, I constantly see him and it annoys me. Do, you guys don't want to repair him? Okay. Bots. Alright. So. Uh, I kind of fucked up the station here, but that's okay. I, mean, I forgot it's supposed to be filter inserters, because if you don't do filter inserters, it'll just grab whatever it wants to. So, yeah, I, did, I just made a lot of stops here because I'm just preparing for the inevitable. So, it's pretty sick though. I actually like the fact that, that the trains are like kind of working weirdly like that. Alright, so let's just kind of take all this with me. As, yeah, because reasons. Maybe we don't need that much. Like 50 more and then that's it. Okay. So now, now we begin on this stuff. So I already, I think I already made a, a book here somewhere, which has this stuff. Yeah, so it's kind of going to work like this. Uh, not quite, but we can copy and paste it again later. So because of the fact we're going, we're doing reverse trains now, um, gonna be kind of like our new layout. Alright, so we need a lot more stuff here. Uh, two more of these. Maybe some more. Yeah, so they are gonna unload like ASAP. Like, it's gonna be actually really sad. Um, for this station, though, it probably actually, this is probably complete overkill, I'm not gonna lie. Because um, this station is for unloading nuclear cargo, or sorry, the uranium cargo, so... Yeah, these appear to be working much better. Okay. There you go. He's on his way. It's <laughs> so dumb looking, but it's like... I, I mean, it looks stupid because you don't look, you don't see trains like this, but in this game, it makes sense. Until they make it so you can make a station on a curve, it actually is like, it's basically there's no benefit to doing it any other way. So you can actually see him come in now. So he's coming into here. And now my trains will unload him. Okay, no they're not, but... We don't judge them. Alright, so... I mean, I don't know, man. It, I don't think I really need this many, but I, I kind of want this... The way it is because we're gonna need okay we need actually way way more so let me go handle that 
I might as well start making the centrifuges, to be honest. Alright, so we have now abundance of red belts, so we're good with that. So, let's get that going. And start working on where we're going to do centrifuges. I think it needs a crap ton of concrete, so let's just get that out now. Alright, what, what do you need for centrifuges, sir? Uh, 100 advanced circuits, 100 iron gears, 50 steel plates, and some other shit. Alright, so let's just uh, do this. Fucking centrifuges, guys. I probably should end it here. I'm just gonna finish making a station uh, while I'm here. Yeah, and look at this. Already red chips need 100 more of these. This is like proportionally like a huge amount of resources that we're spending upon this crab. But what I'm likely gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap up what I can and then do whatever. What was I actually coming here for? I think I was actually coming for materials to make these filter stack inserters. Yeah, for some reason I need green chips too, so we're just gonna run down this line. I'm not a smart man, I don't have any kind of intricate system. I just I, I do the good old run down the line until you have pretty much what you need. Uh, okay, centrifuges now require steel plates and concrete. It looks like the steel is backing up again, luckily, so very satisfied about that. Okay, and then we need concrete. We have plenty of concrete. Just take like a full stack of it. That's why we have this entire thing. And we're gonna probably have some system later to to make it permanently, but uh, at this very moment I can't think of a good system for doing that. Our gear wheels again. I mean, that's why we made so much. You know, place it on the ground, we can do a lot of things with it. Alright, take as many as we can. And guess what, we're back to red chips being the issue. And red chips will likely be a problem throughout most of this, so, you know. But it's making them, so. How many more do we have? We have 10. 10 is probably a good start. Actually, we'll just do 12, just because I, I like numbers that are like that. I said, I'll have to actually see. And in, in all likelihood, we're actually gonna have to increase the amount of red chips we have coming down this line, so. Uh, yeah. I'll just take a couple more with me, just in case. I need them for something else. But you can see like how much resources have been required for this whole expedition. Um, all right. Now I'm considering to myself to what to do about the station. Okay, so what, here's what we're gonna do about the station I made. Um, we're actually going to uh, we're going to make it not like quite like that, uh, but I will copy and paste it because it is actually a really good layout. I currently what I did here. This is actually excellent. So we need this for later, but not for right now. Did I not make it? Okay, there you go. So very good. Put it into our big book of blueprints that we love. We don't need this one anymore. What else do we have here? We're not going to need this one anymore. I might as well keep that. Actually, no, we don't need that anymore because we're going for bigger trains. All right, so that's how that works right now. Um, so what we're actually gonna do right now is we're going to actually dis disassemble most of this uh, because we actually don't need it to actually unload this fast. For this guy, at least. For the R, it's a, compl it's a completely different issue. The R is gonna be unloading like crazy. What the hell? Okay, whatever. So we're keeping this pretty fast. All right, so what these things are now going to do is they're going to now un uh, unload on uranium ore. And it will go onto these yellow belt lines. Now, this is the next problem I have. I, I don't know where I'm going to put the uranium ore, uh, uh, where I'm going to do uranium ore processing. Maybe over here, actually, is a pretty good place. Uh, maybe just above the... Crane lines here, I don't know. Yeah, it's a pretty good place right here. We'll, do, we'll just kind of do it there. I'll start I'll start bringing it over, I guess. Kind of do this. Oh. Uh, actually, it's fine. Alright. I mean, I could probably be better about it by doing it from above, actually. Because this is the one thing that I actually don't have to bring uh, down. 
I can actually bring it up instead. Because a lot of this stuff is going to require me to do it in the other direction, so. Let's see how this train is doing right now. Where is he at? Alright, he's doing pretty well. Um, are all the miners going? It would appear they're not. And it's probably because he still doesn't have enough. But, but that's okay, because we can just send him back to Nuke. Um, I know I have, like, really original names for this stuff, but, you know, whatever. Fuck you. It just sounds cool, what can I say? Alright, so, whoops, it's be a red belt. So we're on the we're on the brink of a, a, a nuclear breakthrough. We're gonna enter the nuclear age. It's like civilization or something. All right. And so now that this is like this, we kind of just feel like okay, whatever, we don't care. All right, there you go. It's all coming down, and it's gonna basically be a full belt of uranium ore, as you can see. Uh, yeah, there you go. Now it's full, and a full red belt is honestly probably just what we need. We're just bringing it up here because we're just, you know, ready for the eventuality that we actually don't really need this many. Um, I mean, in fact, I could actually even process it like right up here. So, you know what? That's maybe what we'll do. I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I don't care. All right. So, here's what we do we have centrifuges. So, um, I don't know. Should I explain this now? I probably shouldn't. Um, we should probably get into this a little bit later. Uh, you know what? Just so I don't blow your mind with a bunch of fucking shit about nuclear, um, we'll talk about this next time. I know, fucking cliffhanger. What what do centrifuges do? How is nuclear power made? Uh, why can't Mike ever stop playing the game and, and is addicted? Uh, all these answers and more next time on Factorio Dragon Ball Z. Bye-bye.